of jargon in your um, with your characters and I'm wondering how much of it do you understand how much of it do you just like I, I'll just say it but I have no idea what I'm saying. Okay TJ's definitely got to start with this one. <laughs> so many harder words. I loved that episode, ooh I like these microphones, I loved that episode where I wasn't there or something in the lab and then oh Brandon and, and Cam were with you and Angela spews out. They tried to get the Angelus and they go, and they were like, no, we'll no, it was great. In this <laughs> show, you like spew out all this jargon, and they look at you, and you're like, oh my god, I'm spending too much time with Hodges. <laughs> <laughs> the chart, I mean, I think we, this show, Bones, was very much like being in school. So you would go home with your script. There are shows you do where you finish on set and you go home, that's that. But on this show, I think we basically went home and it was like another two to three hours of homework um, where we just wanted to really do it in a way that was right. For those that were watching that knew and for those that were watching that, that it really mattered to, we didn't want to just be one of those procedurals that was just saying jargon. So I think we actually had a good, we had a lot of knowledge on what we were kind of chatting about. It didn't retain. <laughs> no, we did a lot of research and had a lot of a, a good team yeah. of professionals that were there to help us also. You had your your words you had to say. Oh my God. It's yeah, they were so they were long. Bad. The one I remember, I always remember, was the doctor and then the alien tetra guy. I don't know why. I think that was, <laughs> uh, but yeah, there were some juggernauts in there. Uh, yeah. I had to make a lot of computer stuff, but I did not have to. Uh, to do that, so <laughs> yeah, easy. So on that note, TJ, I know she had a very close relationship with Bugs. So how was it before you started the show compared to now you probably never want to see him again? But they were real bugs that you were around the courses. Well, they, they were, were actor bugs. So <laughs> in Hollywood, they were you know, yeah, they were very little bratty. Yeah, that one cockroach was such a brat. <laughs> Um, I was talking to someone going to school for anthropology, and I was letting her know that I hate bugs. Um, before the show, during the show, and now after. I just am not a big fan of them. Um, but, you know, you have to pretend, so... so. You also had to play with that rats? Oh yeah, rats, and, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, really? not a fan of any of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Um, but I love when people send me pictures in their house of like bugs to this day asking me what, what it is. <laughs> I just sent a picture back of a shoe. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I mean, I guess I'm less skittish around them now. 
but yeah, a lot of bugs. Hi. Uh, hi. Specifically for TJ, what was harder for you to learn? How to use the wheelchair or how not to walk? How not to make your legs move? When yeah, you yeah, no, that's a very good question. I'm, I, I think, um, I mean, I, the cast and crew was amazing. And once we knew we were doing that storyline, we all took it really seriously. And uh, it was important to me that, that the crew and the cast didn't see me walking once I was in the chair. So I would show up to work early. Um, you have to go through wardrobe, makeup, hair, all that stuff. So I'd get through that. And then I'd get in the chair and stay in the chair for the 14 hours that we'd be shooting. Um, and I did that for the year and a half to two years that the character was in the chair. So um, it became kind of very normal around the set that I was just in a chair. So that helped me as an actor um, get very familiar with the world that Hodgins was now living in. Um, and your legs, I mean, our bodies are so incredible anyway, and, and uh, your legs, when they know that they're not um, being used, will just kind of turn off. Um, so it was amazing that even when I would go home or I would sit in the car, um, I would just, I would feel my legs kind of going down pretty quickly because they were used to not working. So, so that was kind of interesting. So I kind of got into this habit of showing up and doing like 45 minutes worth of stretching before I got in the chair and then another 45 minutes after the chair just to make sure, you know, I was uh, getting blood flow through and stuff. But, but it was important to me to, to get to the point where it was just very believable that he, he just was not moving. And the idea of like, getting up every six minutes and going to get a coffee or something and sitting back down in the chair. It just never really worked. And so at the end of the show, the very last day of shooting, um, I stood up out of the chair to do a speech and the whole crew kind of started clapping. It was a really beautiful moment for me because they were like, whoa! Like, you know, I, just, I was so used to me being in the chair, you know, so. But that was a good question. Thank you for asking that. Um, maybe we might get you guys to line up. It might be easier rather than picking people. I'll do this one over here, but if you want to come and line up over here. I love that you're all here. This is so cool. <laughs> Hello, uh, I just want to point out that I'm a huge Bones fan. I've watched it from the beginning. Yay, and as I know, um, what is your all-time favorite moment from the show? Do you have one? Or? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kissing Michaela Conlin. I really loved our swing episode, like when yeah, we were on the swings, yeah. and that was one of my favorite moments. Yeah. Like, we had fun doing that one, actually, too. Especially because the characters sort of started to change at that point, so it was the first time you'd really seen them out of the lab. Um, the pilot was really fun to shoot. Um, I, I remember shooting that opening scene, like I can remember that, as was the first uh, season's Christmas episode. Um, that was really fun when we were trapped in the lab, and. You guys were in the decontamination shower, and I was in the big elf outfit. That was fun. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But there's so many, it's hard to pick. Did Greg shoot that one? Yeah, so the director that shot the pilot of Bones, um, we hadn't seen him, and then he came back and shot that episode, that Christmas episode. It was the first time we had seen him since the pilot, so that was really fun. It was like, you know, we were all locked in, so it was kind of like a, a family reunion. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was fun. Thank you. Thank you. Good question. Hello. Hi. This was a little long. I was wondering, um, the episode where Bruce gets blown up when he opens Brennan's fridge, and then there's the scene where you take him to the warehouse to rescue Brennan, and um, he, he obviously flinches because he's in pain, but you say with like the most serious face, what must have been all the pudding you ate? I mean, did that take oh, a lot of cakes? Because I know that just cracks me up every single time I see it. So oh. did it take like a lot of cakes to do that? when you had like a serious face. Like, <laughs> I remember what you were talking about. I think that was the same episode where we were in our little car, my little car, and I was yeah. driving with him. I was trying to get a gun from him. I kept trying to get a gun yeah. from him early on, and he would never give me one, and then he oh. came with me. 
And then we were, he was in a lot of pain, yeah. That's right, and I, I think I was wearing some knit hat or something like that. It was really hot. Um, yeah, and I lifted him. I, I remember, that was only one take. I don't know if that was scripted or if we just kind of added that, actually. But that was line. really funny, it cracks me up because it's just like, you're like, oh, you should have eaten all that pudding. And you say with the most serious look on your face. Like, he's he's serious, face. but he also, he, he giggles a lot. I do. <laughs> DJ and Tamara were big. Well, we all did. Oh my God! Really you laughed. Yeah. We all. I know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we all laughed a lot. I do remember that episode though, yeah. No, it, it, our show was really great because the writers kind of allowed us, they, they gave us a lot of flexibility, so we would do a lot of improvising and kind of, I mean, they cut a lot of it out. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, sometimes we got to do little things. I think that, that was, I don't remember whose idea that line was, but yeah, ah, good memory. That was, yeah, <laughs> that, yeah, that was fine. Thank you. Thank you. What's your personal grossest prop body that you uh, I know what mine is. <laughs> There's two. Okay, We've talked about it. Okay. The pizza. Remember the pizza that we rolled the body? That was a flat body. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the, 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 the Cinderella one. Yeah. And then there was also the the bathtub. The bathtub. Yeah. 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 We talked Which about the bathtub. Where, where there was, was liquid. Yeah. There was like a liquid body. body. And remember that scalp? Yeah. There was like, <laughs> Um, and it would come up to the surface as we were shooting, and we were like... <laughs> <laughs> the, we had a, a team that would make these prosthetic bodies that were just incredible. Um, yeah. The Jaegers, and they were they were so good. But we got into this, you know, I mean, that was like our job. Like, it was our, our place of employment. So we would kind of come in, and we'd be like talking and laughing and joking, and like none of us were aware that this was like, Half body sitting there, like your guts spilling out. We're like, how was your weekend? Eating over and drinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh um, my god. Yeah, there were some gross bodies. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I was wondering, what scene took like the most takes to um, to finish? Like, either you were laughing or it was really gross or something like that. I think with you know, we know the platform scenes where the body comes in are usually right after the opening credits where we're, we're all over the body mm -hmm. and there's a lot of people on the scene and TJ's looking, getting samples and I'm taking pictures and Emily's. Those scenes take a long time to shoot. Um, it's a big space, they have to shoot from all directions, there's a lot of people in them. So those would span sometimes most of the day. They, they take a long time. So there's periods of laughter, there's periods of fatigue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like, yeah, those were, there were some fun memories of those, though. But. We would always get the, anytime we got the script and we saw there were platform scenes like that, we were like, oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, on TV, by the time you guys see it, it's Very a good, nice. like, minute. Yeah. For us, it was like <laughs> ten and a half hours. <laughs> of saying the same thing over and over again. It's just like yeah. a little nightmare. So you like, can say, like, 300 times. Yeah. I mean, but yeah. we would laugh a lot. We are we were basically big kids that like the director inevitably on Bones would have to be like a school teacher being like, guys, come on, play, pay, pay attention, come on, like, you can't teach it, come on, guys. Yeah. And we got pretty bad. That yeah, was fun. Good question. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to see you live. Um, my question is, have you ever eaten at the diner or Founding Fathers? Oh, that's a good question. Oh wow. So in, in, in fake Hollywood, um, we, we have these, uh, there are lots, like the Warner Brothers lot, and then we, we shot most of our stuff on the Fox lot. So the diner, um, if you were to go into it today, you would see it on the front, the Royal Diner, everything looks exactly the same, and as soon as you opened the doors and walked in, if you went into the back where the kitchen is, um, there's just cardboard and wood. It's not an actual diner. Um, and then the Founding Fathers, same thing. It's just this kind of like fake platform. So when we're not in there, we haven't decorated and our crew hasn't been in there to dress it up, it just looks like an empty room in an abandoned like warehouse. It's yeah. really But you've never gone to them in Washington? Oh, the real ones. Yeah. Yeah. No, have you? No. Do they exist? Is there a real? Yeah, we were there last weekend. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> um, I was like, I wonder if they were here. No. <laughs> I guess that answers your question. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to the Smithsonian. We went to the Smithsonian, but no, I never went to those. Yeah. 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 Ye
Thank you. Hi. 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 Okay. Uh, one for me, one to my sister who's a Bones fan. My first, for me, um, who's your favorite characters apart from yourselves? Good question. I think Hodge. I think Hodges. <laughs> I do. I it's think Hodges. <laughs> I, I just the whole, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, now I don't want to get saying why. <laughs> Not just because he's Hodges, but because um, I just think the character was really interesting. You know, the anger management issues that he had in the beginning of the series, and how much the character changed over time, and uh, how much he was involved in the science portion of it, and. Angela portion of it. <laughs> yeah, I think I mean his character. You don't have to say me, please I, don't. I, I, I would have to say I think as a group, the interns. Um, just because they brought so much to the show. You know, the show, we didn't know when, when we made the show that the Zach character wasn't gonna be around the entire time. It made us all very sad for many, many years that he wasn't. Um, and the concept of bringing in interns was really a one-season idea that, oh, okay, we'll, we'll bring in a, like four or five of these interns, and by the end of the season, we'll choose one. Mm -hmm. But they were so dynamic and fun, and they affected our characters in such a great way that Hart and Steven and the other writing uh, team members were suddenly like, we can't get rid of these guys, let's just add more. So we just get, kept getting these great, full character interns, and they are amazing. I mean, they made they the show awesome. what it is. The funniest, kindest people. Yeah. 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 Okay. This is for my sister. What would you say to her uh, if she were here right now? What's her name? Uh, Mia. Hi, Mia. Where are you, Mia? In New Zealand. Oh. oh. Take us with you. We would have come to New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Mia. Hi, Mia. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I know you guys are very happily married, you have a beautiful son and everything, but there is a little action in the middle of the series with a woman that you had a previous relationship with before. With who? Yeah. <laughs> so did you get any flack because from the lesbian and gay community because you had experimented with being lesbian before your relationship with, um, with Jack and then kind of got dabbled in a little bit and then went back. Did you get any flack for anything like that? No. Um, conversely, I got a lot, a lot of women, you know, younger girls reaching out saying that they had not seen um, a lot of bisexual characters portrayed in network television. So there was a lot of, um, there was a lot of kind of gratitude, I think, for, for Hart putting that, putting that, I think the way that they framed that relationship was that it was not unusual that the other characters on the show didn't find it strange um, and didn't find it odd. It was another relationship, and I think that people's reactions determine how we view something. And so the normalcy of it, I think, made, made a lot of young women feel comfortable. Um, so it really, I, I, looking back on that now, I feel very lucky to have done that. And I think that Hart and Steven really, um, they, 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 I just, I love the way that they approach that. So. Yeah, and I'm glad that we got to do that. Also because, you know, the, the, sex, the sexual part of Angela is a very big part of that character. I mean, the opening shot of the series is her flashing <laughs> someone for information, um, but grudgingly. So I feel like to, I feel like it was nice to see sort of all parts of her um, and the many different people that she dated <laughs> over the years. So. I went a different place when you said, see all parts of her. <laughs> I mean, do you have a favorite line or quote that has stuck with you, like throughout the series? Favorite line or quote? Oh, wow. Keep it allowed. probably don't want to say anymore, <laughs> which is sweetie. Oh, yeah. I had to say sweetie a lot. Um, so I probably would. That's what maybe I don't. But when would I win? No, I mean, no. I don't know. Maybe? Yeah, no. No. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs>
Cookie noodling. Oh. <laughs> Cookie noodling. All right, Monique. Cookie noodling. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you guys so much, by the way. And what are you gonna miss the most about working with the other? Well, yeah. Don't make us cry. <laughs> with each other or the cast, like the whole, the whole, well, the, cast, yeah. the whole group. Yeah. It, it became a family. I mean, it really did. Um, so I, I, I don't know the routine. Of it. Maybe yeah. just the familiarity of we have a shorthand with each other, knowing each other for so long. So yeah. you have to reestablish that when you go on to a new show. Um, and it's kind of, I mean, 12 years. I mean, we know everything about each other. And so it's just, we could drop into a scene very quickly together, all of us. Um, I think, especially like, you know, for you and I, especially with each other. So that will be missed. To, to not be able to have that um, immediate um, ability. Yeah, spending time with people at all hours of the day and hearing so much about their personal lives and their families, and it's weird now. I want to like find out what's going on. Like we caught up, I was like, why have so many questions? What's happening? <laughs> what's going on? So yeah, I mean, the, just people's lives. You know, I, I think I'm gonna miss that the most. Thank you. I love you guys. Thank you. Tell Montreal we say hello. Yeah. <laughs> what? Hi. Hi. It's the king, the real king. It's the king. <laughs> <laughs> so what inspired you to make bones? It's inspired. Yeah. Oh, no. well, shows, right? oh, oh, okay. Um, well, at the time, you know, we go through this thing called network, we go through pilot season as actors where all these television shows cast at the same time. <laughs> Um, and so it's difficult because sometimes you're up for multiple things or you like different things and you don't know what you're going to get because it depends on what week they come in. And um, I just remember really liking this character. I really liked Angela. I liked how forthright she was and how honest. And I liked that there was a female lead. Um, I, I just, I, I responded to the strength of, of um, the women on the show. So I, I remember choosing, I remember liking that element of it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello. Uh, so, uh, where are your plans for the future now? <laughs> We're stay right here in Toronto. We have to get a poutine. Is it the poutine? It's good. It's really good. <laughs> Okay, yeah. I was impressed by it. Um, we have to get jobs. <laughs> we have to immediately get back on your television sets. So yeah, we got to get to work. Because I've seen you um, previously were in a movie too, uh, in between the uh, series. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's funny. It's hard to find. It was hard to find things that would fit. We have very short breaks on our show, so it was hard to find things that would shoot during those breaks, or, or that you want to do after working for ten months of the year. So, um, you know, now we're really in a place where we can say what kind of things we want to work on, or what you know. It's sort of a, you know, it's, we're in a new, we're in a new world, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's, I mean, we've been, we've been doing this show for a long time, so it's been fun to read what's out there and see what's happening. Well, since it's Comic-Con, are you interested in any comic world? I just told Michaela this morning, I think she'd be such a kick-ass superhero. <laughs> Well, hello. Thank you for all your help today and volunteering. Oh. Yes. Thank you to all the volunteers. Everyone's been amazing. I know. Um, being a, a viewer of the show and a fan, uh, when I think of the more emotional scenes, I do think of the Grave Digger episode, as well as Lance Sweets' Lance death. Uh, love John Francis Daly. Um, by you guys being an actor and behind the show, what exactly would you say is the more emotional part of it? What is emotional to you about the show? That's a great question. Yeah. I mean, how great is TJ in the Grave Digger episode? Like, That's a 
great episode. Um, gosh, that was like a several part question, I think. But um, <laughs> what? I'm sorry, it was the emotional part? Is that what you're asking? Was there any emotional scene for you? Well, because you guys are the actors, was there anything right. emotional to Right, right. I mean, uh, having Michael, having uh, Angela and Hodgins' baby, we shot that all in one day, that was really emotional. Um, I would say that was up there. Um, and shooting the final episodes of the show was very emotional for everyone. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah character-wise, I think for Hodgins, when, when he knew he carried the gene that Michael Vincent may be born blind and, and I thought you were going to hate me. Um, I was telling Wendell that Angela's going to hate me. And, and you walk in uh, when I'm telling him that. And you're like, what? This sounds like a happy time. And I have to tell you that I carry the gene. And I remember for him, like, I think that, that was emotional. Losing you a few times was emotional. Asking you to marry me and you saying no a few times. <laughs> So I think the character kind of went through all that, and then, and then, of course, losing sweets um, as the character. As the actor, I agree with Michaela. I think there were certain scenes that were um, powerfully emotional for us, but I think, yeah, the final episode, as actors, we were weeping a lot. Yeah, yeah it was so strange. It was so surreal to shoot those last episodes. Yeah. Thank you. Good question. <laughs> Hi. Um, I was wondering if you could play any other character in the show, who would you play? Oh. One of the bodies? <laughs> <laughs> um, who would you play? Oh my gosh. Cindy Lauper? No. <laughs> I don't know. How about Caroline Julian? She's amazing. Yeah, She's yeah. 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 I like her. That'd be fun. That'd be a fun role. That would be a fun role. Yeah, something like that. Who would you play? Probably you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. He makes all the bugs look so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you Thank you so much. You. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. I will be if you could play Jack is really smart. I wish I had his brain. I mean, he's got advanced degrees in entomology, botany, and mineralogy. Like, I, I wish that I could have his knowledge. And the thing about Hodgins, I remember when I, I auditioned for the show, um, I kind of had this scene in the audition room where it was, it was like kind of describing a lot of, um, I think it was frogs and, and insects and stuff like that. But I was kind of whipping through it because I was trying to get back to Brennan's book. I think I was more interested in, yeah, 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 so tell us more about your book. And I found that to be intriguing in the character, that he's so smart, that he just, he just knows this stuff so well, that he doesn't even care about it. He just can't wait to just talk about, like, real life stuff. And I think that would be so nice to have that much knowledge about something, like, you know, yeah. so inter he's so interested in what he does. Yeah, that's true. I'm not that way. <laughs> not, with, not with the same things he's interested in, at least. But yeah, I would take that. I'd like to be as, as smart and brainy as Jack. I think the computers, for me, like, oh my god, I really could use some, I could, like, brush up a little. Angela's, like, really good and really fast and, like, can find anyone in, like, five seconds. So I feel like that, I feel like I would probably take that, yeah, that yeah. scale. You say that in the previous interview. So the follow-up question is, you say you're going to work on your Instagram. Oh my gosh, I love that you're calling me out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right? Why haven't I just done it already? What, what um, Instagram. Oh, you're not yeah, Instagram. Instagram. No, well, well I, I, I know, I can't, I know. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I have to. Now I'm saying it. I have to do it. Now it's being recorded. So I, mean, I, it. I know, I have no excuse. I tweet, but I know, I'm going to do it. Snapchat, I like haven't even... All right, Instagram is happening. <laughs> <laughs> happening. Yay, yay, yay. Hi. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, what is your like 
out of all the celebrities, what is your actual, like, you get, who do you get along with? And out of all the scenes, which do you think was more fun to do? Some of our celebrity guests, of the guests that came onto the show? No, like, just out of oh. your cast. Oh, in the cast. Contact them on the oh, I see, I see, in the, in the cast itself. And then the, the second part of the question was... The second part is, like, what scene do you find was the most fun to do? Yeah, oh, that's okay. okay. I'm going to jump to that really quick. That, that anytime Hodgins got to do an experiment, I would, yeah. so and I would be like, let's do another take. Like, they were like, TJ, we got it. And, and just a couple more. Um, so I always loved the experiments. Those were my favorite. Um, such crazy... Do you remember when I hit you in the head with a frozen turkey? Did <laughs> it bounce? Did it hit you? Oh my god, I loved your reaction no. to that. Do you remember the wood chipper, the frozen paint? Oh. The head exploding, the blowing the head. Yeah. Just kind of like, yeah. There was a lot of spam body. That made me even Brian Clemente, where you think something exploded and you took your goggles off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There was one, has it aired? Yeah, it aired. Um, I actually never got to see it, but it, there's a big wind machine that I'm in the wheelchair, and I, while we were shooting it, like it kept pushing me back, so, so I, I couldn't control it, so they were laughing, so I think we kept that one in. Um, God, yeah, there were a lot of experiments. I don't know, I loved all of those, though. They were really fun. Some of them didn't go so well for Jack. There's one, actually, I saw recently. Uh, I forgot this, but we shot one where... <laughs> We don't even say what experiment's going on. It's just Cam walking over to Hodgins' room, and she doesn't even get inside, and Hodgins kind of runs out, grabs her, moves her out of the way as the door slams shut behind her, and you see an explosion. Like, nothing said, and she's just like, oh, what did you need? You know? uh, in terms of the cast, though, we all stay in touch. I mean, we're, we get together quite a bit. Um, we travel together to Toronto. And, no, we got pretty close, so yeah, yeah. we we, uh, I, we were just, Michaela, Tamara, and I were actually just, matter of fact, because Tamara is from here, yeah. uh, we love her dearly, and so Michaela and I were texting her to say, where should we go, where should we go to eat, so she gave us a big she list of places to go, and to see, yeah, so we yeah. keep in touch. Yeah, that was great. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. With your scenes with Michael Vincent, what was your like most memorable scene with him? <laughs> yeah, well, like, what was interesting about that is that there was oftentimes different children. So, <laughs> because we could never really bond with any of them, um, because you wouldn't see that him for so long that he would age. So they have to bring in an older kid. So we had He's like 30 now. <laughs> There were several different Michael Vincents um, through the years. Then we had some consistency towards the end, but um, we had a couple different babies there. <laughs> um, but our favorite scene? Wait, I have to say something about the babies. So, <laughs> Kayla and I, they had, to, they had to like audition these babies. You know, to like, yeah. like uh, to find babies that could kind of like work as Jack and Angela's kiddos. And they looked they, like us. They had really the twins that were cast, and they hated us. <laughs> and they were cast, and they were and, and like they were the sweetest, cutest little kids. And any time like they would get into our arms, they would just scream. And then they'd have to like switch them out with the twin, and then the baby would scream. And so they ended up getting recast because they hated us so much. They were like, they were like, they were like fire the baby. <laughs> They, all, they often use twins with kids because, you know, one gets tired, they can switch them out and stuff, so... I wish they did that with us. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's such a long hour. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's you're shooting nine months out of the year, 14 hours a day, uh, and typically nine days it took us to shoot one episode, so that episode would be about 46 minutes long. Nine days, 14 hours a day, for 46 minutes. Um, so it was, it was, we would rarely see the sun come up or go down. It was just dark when we got in our car and dark when we left the lot. Um, it was a lot of work, but, uh, but we had a lot of fun in the in-between. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Since someone already asked you about your experiments, I want to know what was your favorite opener body discovery scene, because they're also hilarious, whether you're part of it or not. Okay. 
they, there was one where um, I was there on this day, but it, there are a couple guys riding bicycles downhill, and one of the bicycles kind of flips. But the stuntman got hurt, broke his leg. Yeah, we did some dangerous stuff. And so he <laughs> broke his leg. But in typical, like, amazing stuntman fashion, these guys are incredible. These men and women that do that for a living yeah. are so incredible to me. Um, he broke his leg, kind of went, I think he went out for a second, then came to and was like, did we get it? Like, that's what he cared about. Like, did we get it? And I just remember being like, oh my god, he's my hero. <laughs> and he's like, off to the left of yeah, so, I remember that one. Wasn't there one with like an auto binge truck or like oh, the raccoons? Oh, the raccoons? I don't know. Maybe there was a few garbage trucks. Yeah. Um, yeah. Was it the one where they're singing? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I love that one too. Yes. Totally. Nice. Yeah. Gosh, there were so many gross openings. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite opener? Yeah. Not so easy. Huh? <laughs> Look where they find a body where they really should not be finding a body. Yeah. It's just like really dark. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, oh geez, I mean, I think uh, I, uh, Angela's pretty, pretty forthright. She's a pretty honest, you know, direct person. Um, I'd like to think that I'm that way in life. I think she's more so than me. I'm definitely more conservative than her in life. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I think her. Gosh, why did we suddenly get her from the answer? Um, How they through. Um, maybe we should answer it for each other, since you know me. <laughs> um, I, I guess Angela is like, uh, you know, she's a really kind of strong body kind of, you know, I always really respected and liked that about her. So I would like to think that I embody a percentage of, of what, of, of the hundred percent that she is. But um, it was fun to play somebody who I respected a lot for so long because you know, you can do it for so many hours of the day, so, can I say that? I think you pretty much are, Angela. I mean, you're smart, you're sexy, you're sassy, I mean, you kind of got it all that she's got, so I think you have a lot awesome of awesome computers. <laughs> Not so good with computers, um, but everything else. <laughs> My TV husband. <laughs> no, but you are, I mean, like, I think you, you know, you kind of embody her pretty well, like, I think the, the intelligence. You're as smart as Jack. No. <laughs> Um, Sleepy Hollow, all I remember is that, so when Sleepy Hollow kind of started, Fox wanted to promote it, so Hodgins came running into Angela's office at one point and was like, I gotta get home, I gotta tape Sleepy Hollow, I have to record Sleepy Hollow. And then all of a sudden it was like, wait, they're gonna be on the show, like what? And so I remember bringing that up and the writers were like, don't worry about that, don't worry about that. I was like, wait a minute, I, I watched their show. Like, <laughs> It was kind of a weird, like that moment was kind of a little bit strange. That whole episode was a little bit was, bizarre. It was kind of bizarre. I think we were only with them for a day and a half or yeah. two days, and they stretched out. Um, I think David went, David and maybe Emily went to their set, but we only had them for like a day and a half, so it was, uh, it was, it was fun, but it was, you know. What, did you like the crossover? Did you think it was neat? Cool. Good. Wow. Yeah, we didn't get to hang out with them enough, but, but, um, it was really weird. I, I just worked with Tom, the lead actor. I didn't work with her, but it was funny to see somebody fully in costume on our set from another show. It almost felt like he had been like Tom, like a time travel machine or something. It was so surreal, you know, he's, he's in full costume and stuff. So I remember that being really bizarre. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> okay, so I sat down, and then my husband decided he wanted to know something. <laughs> so, Where is he? <laughs> hey, happy. <laughs> so he wants to know if in real life you're a conspiracy theorist like Jack. Oh, no. <laughs> I wish I was. It's so fun. Um, no, he really is a conspiracy theorist, though. And and I feel like early days it was really. Yes. Hard. Um, and Booth hated that Jack was a conspiracy theorist. I remember the JFK episode. Like he was so angry yes. about Jack. And Jack was like, all right. Like, yeah, they used to really go at it there. Um, in early days, Hodges was so angry, like he was, everything was about the conspiracies. Um, but no, no, I'm not as much. I think Hart is, though. The Hart's a bit of a conspiracy theorist, that's where it kind of came from. Yeah. No, TJ's not. I wish I was. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll become one. <laughs> okay, we both thank you. <laughs> Alright, so I just have two quick questions. Look how cool you look. It's so pretty. Kelly, you're just so beautiful in real life, but I have a question that's going to make you question everything. So this is a question that a character posed to Hodges. Would you rather have your brain in a beetle's body, or a beetle's brain in your body? Oh. 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 <laughs> you seriously did just well and I was like, what is she asking? <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Can you, can you repeat all the time? Would yeah. you rather have your brain in a beetle's body, okay. or a beetle's brain in your body. You should have to answer that first. What would you choose first? Yes, yes. I, mm -hmm. I, I honestly think I'd rather burn in hell. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our answer. <laughs> I'm so scared of love, so, um, yeah, I might take that answer. That's a really hard one. I remember that, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's amazing, I remember that. I asked all of my potential girlfriends that, and they're just like, <laughs> oh my gosh. And for you, 
How tall are you? Me in real life? Yeah. Short. <laughs> like three five. <laughs> Little. I'm short. I'm like five nine. Like just under five nine. But I'm, I just have really high heels on today. No, she's tall and beautiful and I'm just a little guy. Well, awesome. Thank you. So cool to see you in real life. Yes, likewise. Thank you for those questions. How are you all doing up there? Are we good? Are we good? Thank you guys. Thanks for being here. This is fun for us. Hi. Hi, Robin. Hi. <laughs> um, I, my question is, remember the episode, I don't know if this is too out there, but remember the episode when you guys lost all your fortune? Mm. In the, well, how would you feel in real life if that <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you what we were saying while we were shooting that. I think there was a scene where, where if I remember correctly, Pallant has a, a um, drone that's going to hit like a school full of kids, yeah. Yeah. and Hodges is like, like, let, and the bank account is draining at the same time, and we kind of had to choose. And there were a couple of takes where I was like, let them burn. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really mean it. But like, maybe there were a few takes where I was like, will they all die? <laughs> it was a lot of money, but in the end, I mean, of course, we made the right choice and we let the money go, as I think anyone would really do in real life. Because I feel like it's all about experiences and not money. No, it's very true. I absolutely agree. Which is why I like actually that Hodgins eventually, when they discovered the money, he said, give it to charity. I, yeah. I don't need it. I don't want it. That's not what makes life, you know. My, my second question is with your, with your um, stunts, do you do any of the stunts that Hodgins does or is it all a stunt double? No, I love doing stunts. And in any of the movies and things that I did, I always wanted to. Um, <laughs> I remember with Hodgins, a couple of times I was like, I want to do it, I want to do it. And they would let me. And I would, and I feel like this, like, I feel just so great. And then they'd be like, let's do one with the stuntman. And the guy was amazing. Like, like being thrown in the garbage truck and stuff like that, or like being thrown off of the platform. And I like, like, kind of tripped off the platform. I was like, I did it. And then he did like a backflip and like, landed on his feet. And I was like, okay, use that one. I mean, so yeah, I like the idea of doing stunts, but I don't know that I'm all that great at it. Thank you very much. Thank you. One last question. We have time for. Oh, we, we have time for, for a all. We'll take all, all three really quick. I promise. Okay. We'll all talk. We'll talk quick. Stay. <laughs> really quick. This is for Michaela. Um, when you guys are actually getting married in the jail cell, and the the uh, the judge is you know rhyming off your names, and you say actually that's not my name, and then you whisper to him, what is Angela's real name? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like some people could probably answer that in here, right? Yeah. No? People don't know? I, I know there's pearly whites in there, but... Okay. Go for it. Can say it. Go for it. Especially since it's on someone's hat today that I saw. Where is... Is, there, is she here? No? Okay. Um, her real name... I mean, I'm sure there's many different incarnations of Angela's name. I think she's probably changed her name like six times in her life. But, um, Pookie Noodlin. <laughs> like P O O K I E Newland. <laughs> isn't it like isn't it Angela Pearly Cookie Newland? Oh, the fall thing. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess right? so. And then there's more. But what we you find on my passport? Yeah. Is yeah. Just that. So that's I feel like she true. added. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, later on, but. That's what I was told, at least. <laughs> is that a pet dragon? Yes, this cool. is a Rex of Rex. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Um, so my question, it'll be really quick, is um, because me growing up and watching the show, it inspired me to go to school for physio. Yay. Really learning about all the bones and stuff like that. Awesome. Um, so mm -hmm. you said you guys went home with homework. So did you ever get really frustrated with all the Latin words? Because I know it can be a pain in the ass. Or yeah. did you actually like it? <laughs> <laughs> and it's so tomato tomato, so I would get to set and I've done all this research and like, we have someone named, uh, that's a script supervisor, kind of like handles the script, and there would be this like dialogue and conversation almost every script of, wait, how are we going to choose to say this particular one? And in my research it was this, and my research it was that, so, but yeah, no, it was, it was, they were tongue twisters, that's how, that's what I would do on my way to work, I would just like practice the words like tongue twisters in the car, yeah. Good that you're doing that, that's amazing. I know, there's been so many girls who are interested in science now from watching the awesome. show, it's so cool. Hi. Hi. 
So I know the squinterns have already been brought up, but who is your favorite squintern? Like mine was Benson Dude, the science dude. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know he's only there for one episode, but he I just he's fine. He's funny. Oh, that's hard. That's like choosing your children. Yeah. 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 Good buddies. I mean, they're all. They're so different too. They have so many different qualities as people and as the interns. But gosh. Are you saying like if if we had to choose an intern, or yeah. you mean just for us as people, who is our favorite? Just like who was your favorite intern? Oh, I see. Okay. Because I was thinking like who would Jack choose as his intern? Who would <laughs> right, right. You probably wouldn't choose Daisy. Oh. No. <laughs> but in real life, I would. But no. Right. Right. That's so funny. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's, I think all of them. I mean, they were just amazing. Yeah, I they loved were really great. All. Yeah. We never, we almost got all of them in one episode together, but it didn't happen. But we got close. It was very hard. They have, you know, they're all working on other things, so we get everybody together. But we, they were such, they're such great people. Yeah, we almost got them all. It was always fun when we did the, like, I think it was the 100th episode and the 200th episode where we were in these, like, different worlds and getting to see the actors playing completely different characters. That was really fun. Yeah, they, yeah. they always had a really fun time. But we're, we're such a family, it's, it's, we get giddy when we get to see these, these guys, all of these people like that you've worked with and grown up with like on other shows now and other characters. It's really fun. But. Well, it was fun too because we would see one of them every few months. So when like Michael or Aunt Terry would come back, we'd be like, oh my god, hi, we would see you in a moment. It was so nice when they would come back and yeah. Thank you for all those questions, you guys. That was amazing. This I really so appreciate fun. it. I have to say a little bit. Uh, we're, you know, we live in the states, and we we hear and say all the time how nice Canadians are. It's so true. <laughs> Celebrity Row, so if you guys want to have a chance to go over and get a selfie with them or an autograph, and we'll give them one more round of applause from Canada. Thank you.